life is like a jigsaw puzzle. When all pieces are in place, it was beautiful. Think about it. How's your puzzle so far? When my son Brian and Amy announced their wedding plan, people ask me, who is Amy? Well, I don't know. It was sad to say that I knew nothing about Amy. It was embarrassing to say I knew very little about my Brian either. We have issues, communication issues. He did not like to tell me what happened around him. In fact, when we were young, we were very close until I got divorced and went to China. I became a father who provided nothing but money. money. <laughs> and he got every reason to hate me because I was not there when he needed me. To him, I was a lost father. And I was hoping this trip to Long Beach can change all that. But when I arrived at the LA airport, he was not there to greet me. <clears throat> I was a little bit disappointed. When I finally got to his house, there was no sign of a welcoming party. <laughs> <laughs> Only messy rooms. And the toilet bowl was so disgusting, I dare not to use it. And when I got into the shower, the drain was crowded. And I had to stand in a pool of dirty water to finish my shower. Mm -hmm. So when he went back to work, I drove to a nearby shopping center to buy cleaning materials, brushes, hand tools. And I started cleaning up his whole house. Wow. Mm -hmm. Three hours later, the room was nice and neat. And the toilet bowl was new. <laughs> <laughs> I was very tired, but happy. I wish I could do more to make up to Brian. <coughs> that night, Amy took us to see the Christmas decoration lights and I started to understand her. She met Brian at the local community center where both of them were volunteers to help tutoring the underprivileged kids. And they worked together in Bible study, youth group, and many other church activities. And they were so busy, and I knew why Brian did not have time to clean up his <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> In the following days, I knew Amy better. She worked in a nursing home, and she studied part-time in a local college. And Brian liked her because she, she is bright and generous. Especially, they share the same faith and the life vision. On Sunday, Brian took me to the church. When he introduced me to his friends, I received many compliments about Brian. And I was I was sure that Brian is popular and I'm so proud of him. Finally, on Sunday night, I got to meet Amy's parents, Phil and Virginia. 
but they are very nice. We talk about family, marriage, and other things such as Trump <laughs> and trade war. They love it. Then, because I know I was doing well, because we have this table topics channel. <laughs> Apparently, it was time for me to deliver my prepared speech. <laughs> and I said, when I first came to Long Beach, I had doubt that Brian was doing okay or not. But then I saw him was surrounded by beautiful people. I mean, he was associated with people with good hearts. I was relieved. I know he was in good hands. When Brian was growing up, I was not a good father. He pretty much grew up on his own. And now, Phil, I ask you to be his father. Take care of him, advise him, and make him a good man. And Phil replied, oh, you ask, you worry too much. Brian has grown up to be a fine young man. And we notice you have a great influence on him. You built a solid foundation for him to grow up. And I will take him as my son that I never had. So don't worry. In fact, he mentioned Brian is so well that he actually learned something from Brian. That night, when we left the restaurant, it was cold. Brian stopped at the street corner, turned his head, and said to me, Dad, you did well tonight. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Long Beach. And he hugged me for a long, long time. I feel like to cry. We've never been so close. My puzzle is complete, and it is beautiful. Compass chair. Mm -hmm.